so right? Wouldn't it just be so wrong? Wouldn't it just be so wonderful? If I did my entire set in a British accent, and then by the end of the show, all of you would want to shag me, but then I would also want to shag me, and unfortunately for you, only I would get to shag me. <laughs> Such a pity. So, I decided recently that I'm going to just convert to being British. I'm pretty sure it's like a religion. I just did some like yoga right now. I don't know. Um, it's like, I just, I just, the problem is, is if I ever decide, I don't think sex is fun anymore and want to have a kid, um, I really want them to be British. Like that's kind of like the goal. <laughs> and the problem is I'm not British and I don't want my friends questioning me and how I want to raise my British baby. So I'm just going to convert. I think that's the plan. <laughs> um, so I have, a, I have a friend, she she really enjoys you know my comedy and everything, but she asked me the other day, she's like, I, why, why don't you talk about the sex? Why don't you just talk about the I don't know why you just don't talk about the sex. And I'm like, well, you know, maybe I should start having sex first <laughs> to talk about the sex. But you see, the thing is, is I got out of a relationship a few months ago, and um, you know, when before you're in a relationship, you're like, yeah, I'm single and I'm great, and I have titties, yeah, motherfucker. And then you're like in a relationship, and then you're out of it, and you're like, I'm single and all I have is my titties. <laughs> and so I was just like, well, I gotta get back in the game, you know. And um, it's just—it's just like it's just like this process because you see, I don't just want any dick, all right. I want the dick. I want a gentleman dick that's gonna call me the next morning. And just, you know, really woo me. <laughs> Gentleman dick I can take home to my vagina. So, I know we're in Humboldt County and I love hippies and their free love, but I also do not like free gonorrhea. So, it's not really appealing. And uh, just so anyone here who might think they have a gentleman day guy, I'm taking applications after their show. <laughs> and uh, just so everyone knows, I'm not biased on my dick. You can have a turtleneck or a crew neck. I'm not going to judge. <laughs> a dick is a dick. <laughs> just keep it clean. We're good to go. Um, but I have a friend who does have a turtleneck. And he was like, you know, I mean, it's just kind of sucks. Because I had this one girl ask me, so, how does that work? <laughs> I don't know. It's a dick. You either put it in your mouth or sit on it. <laughs> There's two options. <laughs> Speaking of dick, I had a guy ask me at a bar recently. He's like, so Ivy, can you tie a cherry stem into a knot with your thumb? If you're asking if I suck good dick, the answer is yes. <laughs> if you saw somewhere on this face, you know what, I think she gives a really good blowjob. The answer is yes. <laughs> if you saw somewhere on this face slut, the answer is fuck no. <laughs> oh, I got teased for months before I put out. <laughs> Their dick sucks in the fashion of cherry stem not teen. I don't know, that just looks like there's like teeth involved. It's like, like, like it's like someone's flipping 